everyone here. Hi, good morning everyone. Thanks for tuning in today so early. And uh, yeah, it's very bright at the back. I know it's a bit glaring, but can you hear me? Can you hear me properly? So today I'm making something that is not in any of my cookbooks. So, um, and uh, it wasn't the regular time that I go on live. Hi, good morning, Sarah. It's, it wasn't the regular time that I go on live, which is uh, 12 noon every, every time is almost, almost every time is 12 noon. But today is 10 a.m. Yeah, the sun is still shining bright behind me and it's very glaring. Okay, so please, uh, because it's not a regular time that I do my live, please uh, click the share and the like button. Hi, Elizabeth. I thought you are not supposed to be online today. You are supposed to be out. Okay, so today we are making a recipe that is not from any of my cookbooks. Okay, I'm making Kao Yok pork belly with yam. So let's take a look at the ingredients that I have given you um, yesterday for you to prepare if you want to cook along. So what we need is, um, we need 600 grams of pork belly, alright? So I have pork belly, okay, 600 grams, cut into pieces like this, okay, cut into pieces like this. So we have 600 grams of pork belly here, all right? So I'm going to put it into a big bowl here, 600 grams, okay? And then um, we have 400 grams of yam. Okay, 400 grams of yam or taro, wu tao, okay, 400 grams cut into thickness like this so we put together with the pork we put together with the pork 400 gram okay then we will marinate this with half a tablespoon of um, dark soy sauce and one teaspoon of the um, Chinese five spice powder, okay? So, um, fan. this is Chinese five spice powder, one teaspoon. So we will put inside here. Okay, sprinkle, marinate. This is one teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. Um, this spice is actually very important to give you the aroma and the not much of taste, but more on the aroma. Okay, it's like the signature of Kao Yok, of this uh, recipe. So if you ask me if you can avoid this, uh, my answer is better not. Okay, so we, we need half a tablespoon of um, thick caramel dark soy sauce to marinate with our pork, 600 gram of pork belly and 400 gram of yam, okay? So I'm going to put half a tablespoon of the thick dark caramel sauce. So just measure half a tablespoon. And marinate with the pork and the yam. We are going to use our hand to marinate, toss everything together, then we will deep fry it briefly, okay? So half a tablespoon of dark soy sauce, the thick caramel type, with one teaspoon of um, Chinese five spice powder, marinate with 600 gram of pork belly and 400 gram of yam, okay? Remember to cut into slices like this your meat and your yam, okay? So we will toss everything together now. Please don't forget to click the like and the share button, yeah? So 
just marinate it with your hand and then we are going to deep fry this briefly it's a very easy um, recipe to make but it takes a bit of time because you need to steam for at least one and a half to two hours for the pork belly and the yam to soften okay so just rub in just rub in the spices and the dark soy sauce to the pork and the yam It's still very glaring outside so um, sorry for the glare yeah, because um, this is the first time I do it in the morning as well we will be having this for lunch and we need to steam one and a half to two hours so we need to start early okay looks like everything is well coated okay should look like this all right okay so I'm going to heat up some oil. Let me wash my hand first. So I'm going to heat up some oil right now. So in a pan, you can do it in a pan, in a pot, in a in a in a wok. So we will heat up some oil to sort of deep fry or shallow fry um, the pork and the yam. Let me grab some oil and heat it up. So later on, I will tilt the camera so that you can um, see how I deep fry it. It's actually very easy, nothing much. So we will heat up some oil now. And uh, since the oil is heating up, okay, um, let's get along with the sauce that we need to prepare. Okay, another thing is um, you need to prepare a a, a bowl like this whereby we will after the pork and the belly is um, deep fried you are not going to cook it through you just want to deep fry it for the color and the sturdiness of the meat and the yam okay you are going to arrange it into a bowl like this okay then you will cover it with a plate and steam for cover it with a plate or a piece of tin foil and then you're going to steam it for like one and a half to two hours once it is done, once it is done, we will take it, okay, discard the water from the tea and bowl. All your pork and your belly is here. I mean, all your pork and your yam is here. You will slowly drain out the sauce into the tea and bowl and thicken it with, um, with um, cornstarch. And what is inside here is still the yam and the pork. You will use a plate like this. And then you will invert it okay then you remove it and you pour on the taken sauce okay so I will tell you again this one I'll repeat this step again so our oil is uh, still heated up still heating up so let's take a long uh, let's take a look at the um, sauce that we need to prepare okay so we need 150 gram of water 150 gram of water so uh, you, then you don't use sweet potato if you cannot find yam then you don't put at all because sweet potato is a totally different flavor profile so you just braise it with pork alone will do okay so for those of you who cannot who live overseas who cannot find yam don't replace it with any other thing um, just try with pork belly alone first okay so um, yeah the sauce is we need 150 gram of water then we need um, three cloves of garlic, three cloves of garlic, and then we will grate it with our microplane. So 
So let's grate the garlic. Let's, so. let's grate the garlic into the water first. All right. I will wait. Yeah. So we are going to grate the garlic into the water first. This is our sauce. Okay. Three cloves of garlic grated into our 150 gram of water. Uh, this recipe is not available in any of my cookbooks yet. Okay. So the three cloves of garlic, we glow, we 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 grate it into the 150 gram of water. And then basically we are going to mix everything together, okay? Three shallots, which we have chopped, three shallots. Alright, so add into our sauce here. And then we have um, three cubes of um, fermented red bean curd or nam yu. Three cubes. Three cubes which will give you around 35 gram and a one and a half tablespoon of the of the sauce okay from the fermented red bean curd. So 35 gram of this cube, three cubes give you around 35 gram and one and a half tablespoon of the sauce we put inside here. Then we have um, Two and a half tablespoon of sugar, okay. Two and a half tablespoon of sugar. Um, one tablespoon of Chinese Shaoxing rice wine, okay. One tablespoon. Then one teaspoon of oyster sauce. One teaspoon of oyster sauce. And uh, one teaspoon of sesame oil, okay? All in, basically all in. This is our sauce. This is our sauce and then you will mix everything together with a small whisk, okay? So, now, let's take a look at our oil again. So, we are going to deep fry uh, or shallow fry our pork belly with the yam, okay? So, this is ready to deep fry now. I will tilt the camera so that you can see. Yeah? You can use a wok, you can use a pan, you can use a, a pot. So anything you can use okay, to deep fry or shallow fry the pork and the yam. Is heated up. I will tilt the camera now so that you can see. Yeah, can see right. So we are going to put inside to briefly deep fry it. Now you don't need to use high heat as I have always mentioned. Just medium to medium low heat will do. Can fit all into the bowl sometimes it cannot fit but we, we shall see so today we have uh, 600 gram of pork belly cut into pieces like this all right and 400 gram of the yam also cut into pieces like this okay oopsie so we are going to deep fry this
You can do this in the wok. Use medium to medium low heat. Yeah. And uh, so we have a sauce ready. We are almost there, halfway there. Okay. So I hope uh, I will be in time for um, for you all to tune in to watch Christy later at 11 o'clock. Okay, this is the first time I do a live so early. Okay, if you if you want me to repeat anything, you can you can just tell me. We will just briefly deep fry this, okay? Briefly. Your intention is not to cook it, yeah, because we are going to steam it for like one and a half to two hours later on. We just want to color it a bit. Okay. Um, if you have any questions that you want to ask, you can ask now. This is not a recipe from any of my cookbooks. So, um, for those of you who inquire about my cookbook, uh, where to um, where to buy? You can get it from my website. Yeah, later I will show you the cookbooks that I have. Okay. So here I have 600 gram of pork belly and 400 gram of yam which I have marinated with um, half a tablespoon of dark thick caramel sauce with one teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder okay we just want to color it we don't want to cook it so this one is okay we can take it out So always remember, uh, you do not need to use high heat. You just want to color it. So if you do not have yam, then you just, uh, perhaps you can halve the sauce and just cook it with the pork that you have, alright? But it is worth doing, worth trying because it tastes very good the children likes the sauce actually okay so in it goes the second batch I will briefly introduce um, the cookbooks that I have because many of you still asking whether it is uh, the cookbooks can be used for TM31, TM5, TM6. Yes, um, my cookbooks have steps for all Thermomix TM31, TM5, TM6. And uh, it even have a section, separate section for conventional uh, home cooks who do not have a Thermomix. Okay. Just fry this. So you can do this in a pot, you can do this in a wok, you can do this in a pan like me. So today I'm using the whiter craft pan. Uh, this is a non-stick pan today. I'm using a non-stick pan. You can use it in a stainless steel wok, no problem because uh is uh, just deep frying it okay the intention is not to cook through the meat and the yam yeah we just want to color it Yes. 
so don't forget to um, like and share um, the video don't forget to like and share the, the video the live yeah Looks like okay already. We can take it out. Can we just take out? So remove out all this. I hope you all will try this uh, recipe because uh, it is really worth trying. It's uh, very yummy. I hope all this can fit into my bowl later. So don't forget to like and share the video, yeah. the last one yes cooking with grace am I graceful enough why you like my name actually that's not really my name I have a Chinese name because I'm Chinese so. okay so once this is done we are going to arrange so we are going to arrange, uh, we can do it, start doing it actually, arrange the pork, alternately one piece of yam, one piece of pork, skin side down, yeah, skin side down, arrange it into a bowl. And then later on we will steam this for one and a half to two hours. It's done. So we are going to arrange this into our bowl. Okay. So we are done frying here yeah, pretty fast. So now we are going to arrange uh piece by piece into our bowl alternately one piece of pork belly skin side down and one piece of meat now if you don't want to do this step you can still 
just uh, put everything together with the sauce uh, in a bigger dish and then just steam just cook it just cook it until the, the pulp and the until the pulp is softened but um, this is definitely for a better presentation because later on when it is done when when you are done steaming you are going to put a plate like this and invert the whole thing so that your your pork belly and your yam is here okay so I'll explain that again later pretty hot okay. we will try to stuff in I make this uh, a few times for Chinese New Year so most of the time it fits all uh, it fits all most of the time because it's still pretty hot Very hot. So, uh, <laughs> you understand how to do it? It's very easy actually. Okay. Very hot. It's very, very hot. So let's push in our pot. Yes. Looks like it is okay. hot okay looks like all is in okay so can you do this cannot lie use chopstick use hand is easier okay all right Okay, so now we are going to put in the sauce, yeah? Uh, where to get this slider later, I will tell you. You can order from me. Wait, okay. So this sauce, just pour it in.
Okay. Now we are going to steam this now in the thermomix. You will cover it with a piece of foil. So now let's talk about this. So assuming this one is done steaming for one and a half to two hours, what you do is you discard the water from the TM bowl, okay? The water that you use to steam your pot, you, you throw it away. Then you will slowly drain out the sauce from this bowl into the TM bowl. And you are going to bring it to a boil after adding in cornstarch. Cornstarch is half a tablespoon of corn flour mixed with one tablespoon of water. You just want to take in the sauce. So it's just bringing the sauce to a boil. Okay, now what you do with the things that is left here, you will take a bowl, take a plate like that, a deep dish, and then you invert it, okay? So assuming your, your pork belly and your yam is here, after you drain out the sauce, you use a plate like that, okay? And invert it, okay? Invert it, then you will remove this and you will have a very nice presentation of your pork belly and yam. Okay, so now we are going to. I have uh, 1500 gram of water here. I'm going to steam this for one and a half to two hours. Okay, but two hours is best. Lah. So uh, let me cover this with a piece of tin foil first. This recipe is not in um, my in any of my cookbooks. Alright. So we will steam this for two hours is best. Now you do not need to um, steam it in the thermal mix. You can steam it in your pressure cooker, your rice cooker, your wok, your steamer, your steam oven. Any any way you can steam it. So we will steam this for one and a half hours first, 99 minutes maximum. So this recipe is basically done, yeah. So uh yeah, I will answer more questions now since we are steaming. And uh what's the time now? Because I don't want to take over um Christy's time, she is up on at 11 o'clock right she's up at 11 o'clock okay so we are basically done with the food that we want to cook today and all is left is just steaming until the belly is soft okay yam soften very fast if you have any questions that you want to ask me um, you can ask me now Okay, so if not, I will take a time to introduce my cookbooks one round so that for those of you who just join in, who just watch me for the first time, you will know what are the cookbooks that I have. Okay, so um, 
This is my volume one cookbook. This is the cookbook that I published five years ago. Okay, the first cookbook and being the first author in Malaysia to publish a Thermomix cookbook. Yeah, so this is the cookbook and yesterday we made with a, we made a yummy mango sago dessert. Okay, yesterday we made a mango sago dessert. This is volume one. Alright. Then we have uh, volume two. Alright, we have volume two. This is cookbook number two. Then this is cookbook number three. Alright. Then um, this is cookbook number four. Okay. And this is the latest edition, which is cookbook number five. Okay. So you can get all these cookbooks from my website. Uh, this is my website www.anysaviorkitchen.com. Okay, don't forget to like and to share this video. Follow me in my page and join my two groups to post all your cooking adventures uh, and to share whatever live videos that you feel is uh, worthwhile watching or is good. Okay, you can also follow me or watch the replay in my Facebook videos or in my YouTube. Okay, you can also watch all the replays of the lives in my YouTube. Okay, now, uh, what? It's about towards the end of. Uh, I have never tried cooking rice towards the end, honestly. So, and uh, it's very seldom that I cook thermomix, cook rice in my thermomix, because I have a rice cooker. So I cannot answer you that question. Uh, what other questions that you have for me? If not, I I will continue with um. Okay, so all the recipe books do not have any repeated recipes in them. Um, it's perfect for TM31, TM5 and TM6 users and even for conventional uh, home cooks who do not own a Thermomix yet. So you can still use my cookbooks because all cookbooks comes with a separate section for conventional home cooks. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> cookbook number five is the latest i wouldn't say it is the best um, i don't know how you evaluate each cookbook because every cookbook comes with different uh, recipes okay yes Zhang Yi. i know Zhang Yi is a friend from my hometown uh, she's my junior the slider later you can pm me okay the slider later you can pm me and uh, at the moment we only have white color that is available okay uh i do not blanch my pork belly before i marinate but if you want to do that you can make sure you wipe it dry every single piece wipe it dry before you put in your marinade like the five spice powder and the dark soy sauce okay uh you have tm6 which cookbook is suitable Every cookbook is suitable, but if you ask me, I will always prefer you go, uh, we start with volume number one, that is the foundation, that is the basic, and it has a lot of wonderful recipes, okay? We have by far, cook, um, how many recipes from volume one? We have made, um, okay, let me give you some sample recipes. What I have, I mean, what I have in... Uh, cookbook number one. This is yam, uh, yam cake, wu tao go. Then we have the pai kuat min, pork rib noodles. Okay. Then we have lo mai fan, savory glutinous rice. Uh, that day we cook a very yummy Kyoto pork ribs from this cookbook as well. Uh, I also made a very yummy cha siu. From this cookbook where's my char siu bbq pork all right it has a lot of wonderful recipes from volume one alone and many of you like to make the um, dry bakute from this cookbook all right so uh, I, I if you ask me which one is the best I will always prefer if you can start with um, the first cookbook and uh, yesterday someone made ginger whiskey chicken and share the share her photo in my group okay 
uh, homemade chicken nuggets is also uh, made by many many moms before so <laughs> yeah 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 what's the time now uh? Christy says stay tuned for her live at 11 let me check the time first okay Oh, we still have about 20 minutes okay we still have about 20 minutes yeah please stay tuned to watch Christy at 11 o'clock she will be making uh, uh, what a uh, pork knuckle is it yeah so um, please stay tuned and watch Christy at 11 o'clock um, I have no life to I have no, I didn't arrange any live yet after this one. Um, later on, I might make a video to show you how I take it out, pour in the sauce, take in the sauce, invert the plate and show you later on, okay? So uh, when it is done, which is around 1 o'clock, that's our lunch time. So if for those of you who still don't understand what I mean, okay oh you Singapore started school already is it Malaysia still no uh, our lockdown is until 9th June 9th but no instructions yet for the school children when they're going to go back to school all right so um, what other questions that you want to ask me you can ask me this recipe is actually very easy all the ingredients is given to you the pork belly and yam all the ingredients have already been given to you all you need to do is to make a sauce mix mix a sauce and marinate your pork belly and yam then you deep fry it briefly for the coloration um, and then you arrange it into a bowl and you pour the sauce in and you steam yeah it's very easy and it's worth to try um, to make it for your family because uh, I'm sure everyone would love this recipe and this recipe is not in any of my cookbooks yet okay um, I've actually made uh, a Chinese New Year cookbook but um, it's not ready yet but um, yeah, just to share with you so there are a lot of yummy recipes in the Chinese New Year uh, recipe book which I am completing soon yeah um, Japchae, you mean Zai Choi? Zai Choi is not in any cookbook yet, but the Korean Japchae is in volume 3. The sweet potato noodles recipe is in volume 3. Okay, if you mean Japchae in uh, Zai Choi, the vegetarian so called, uh, it's not in any of my cookbooks yet. Okay, and um, I have not arranged any live for this week after this but I do plan to make a red velvet cake for my children okay probably um, Friday or Saturday I want to space out the frequency they consume sugar and dessert I want to space that out because yesterday we made a mango sago for them okay so how long it's very brief just now you if you watch the replay if you didn't catch me earlier if you watch the replay of the video it's actually very brief that I marinate it okay maybe for just about 10 minutes while the oil is heating up while I mix the sauce okay to cook the sauce after oh you just need to bring it to a boil perhaps uh, Veroma 3 minutes cornstarch in speed 1 that's all yeah so three minutes for Roma speed one. Add in your cornstarch first before you start cooking. Okay, then you pour out the sauce. Later on, I'll try to ask my girl to record me if if she can now. Ah. Sometimes she's busy. You know, teenagers they're always busy. <laughs> anyway, um, if you have any more questions, you can ask yeah because I want to close already. And uh, move on for you to watch Christy. Uh, oh, 
Yeah, thank you for cooking it. So if you cook it, please do post it in my group. Join my group and post the photo there so that you can encourage everyone. And don't forget to like and share the video. Okay, yeah, I'm planning to do a live for red velvet cake because the children ask for the cake but I don't want to do it these few days I want to space out the frequency they take sugar or dessert yesterday I made mango sago still some left in the fridge okay they don't need to they don't need to eat dessert every day nobody needs that <laughs> especially with so minimum uh, moving about okay oh so that the water don't drop into my 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 dish i cover it you can cover it with a piece with a plate you can cover it with a plate or with a piece of foil it doesn't matter i just use foil okay you can cover it with a, a ceramic uh with a ceramic dish or a stainless steel dish you can cover it okay um yes you can uh. yes you can steep you can you can skip that step of deep frying uh how to join my group you just join and then uh somebody will approve you to join this is the group this is the group any savior kitchen happiness is home homemade or my little girl's group is simon savior kitchen happiness is homemade now please don't share anything that is like selling bra selling t-shirt don't 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 share those selling selling pajamas don't don't share those kind of life okay uh share things that related to cooking related to kitchen related to food okay please yeah Oh, how to cook this? Uh? Actually, I didn't use the termi to cook. I just use the termi to steam. Now, if you don't have, uh, if you don't want to steam it in your termi, you can steam it in your steam oven, in your wok, in your steamer, in your rice cooker, in your pressure cooker. You can steam it anywhere. Okay, so long as the pork soften, then you are done. All right. So yeah, I really need to to go already because uh christy is coming up in about 12 minutes so you better ask all the questions if yeah cookbook suitable for tm6 so please do purchase my cookbooks from my website okay uh so many people make already live also i can share you the live of those who cook with my recipe the apam balik so honestly speaking they don't really fancy appam balik here. I make a few times, it was successful, it was good, but they don't fancy. So I I rather not make things that they don't like. Okay, <laughs> otherwise don't know who to eat. So, but yes, the appam balik recipe from my cookbook has been done alive before by by someone. Uh, yeah, so you can go and watch that live. I think it's Peiling from Team Sunshine. Uh, what speed? Uh, uh, speed 0 0.5 I simply put on it. Speed 1, speed 0 I mean spoon speed to speed 1 is fine This is speed 0 0.5 Doesn't matter Yeah Any more questions before I go? Don't forget to like and share the video yeah. How is the taste compared to restaurant? Frankly speaking, I think home cook always tastes better than the restaurant. And uh, also, I seldom go out to eat. I, I it's really very seldom I go out to eat. So I, it's not a good benchmark for you if you ask me which one tastes better. If you ask my husband, he will always say, "Uh, home cook is better, tastes better." In fact, I do agree sometimes, you know, after paying so much money to eat outside, you don't get what satisfies you, especially when you can cook quite well at home. You tend to compare uh, what you eat outside with the amount of money you pay to eat and uh, what you eat in, you cook yourself, you cook uh, the meal yourself. So you find it really not worth it to go out and eat, right? Time to today you change cup. <laughs> yeah. Today I change cup. Uh yeah. The water. Will steaming. Ah uh, yes, water the, the water will reduce, but I put 1500 gram water. 
so after one and a half hour you can always check okay if you don't believe don't trust your thermal mix it's just like the walk after one hour if you feel like adding in more water please go ahead and do it okay you 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 can treat your thermal mix as best as you want to treat it so um, don't over stuff your machine you know always check don't don't just like uh, walk away too too long when you are making porridge or boiling soup so you can if you stay here with it for a while to check check then you can probably reduce the temperature a bit when you are cooking porridge then only you walk away okay safety is ourselves to keep I always believe this okay and the longevity uh, of the machine also depends on the gentleness on how we use our machine okay don't always blame the machine sometimes it's human okay you have to take care of your things all right so yes i need to go christy will be up at 11 o'clock so stay tuned yeah and uh bye bye everyone <laughs> thank you for watching bye